Hey guys, it's good to see you. It's uh, Ryan here with DP Marketing Services and author on the book on digital marketing for plumbing and HVC contractors. Uh, also the host of Blue Collar CEO. Hope you're doing good and staying safe. All those fun things. Coming at your video today. Um, so uh, we uh, this is kind of an update. So typically on this channel we talk about like marketing advice, just business advice, things that help you grow your plumbing HVC home service business. We just try to give a lot of uh, free insights out um, as we see it based on conversations we have. This one will be a little bit more nerdy uh, based on some uh, recent changes we've seen with Google My Business ranking. Um, in general, just as a disclaimer, because Google algorithm, Facebook algorithms, like things change so quickly, we try not to put out like specific tweaks on video content because by the time you watch this, it could already be gone and expired. Um, but this is something that may have some sticking power. Um, so uh, I guess for context, uh, as you know, Google My Business, or if you don't know, uh, Google My Business is a fantastic source for getting leads. Uh, it shows up in the map pack. You get all that proximity and any type of people looking for like near me, HVAC near me, AC repair near me, plumber near me, things like that. Uh, you're going to be uh, ranking well in these sort of sections on the map. Uh, statistically, uh, people are going to pick these businesses. I mean, you're going to have at least 30% of the search volume hitting one of those businesses. It's it's a really great opportunity. And if you're like a lot of companies, uh, and probably you've seen companies, you will do things to try to tip the Google scales in your favor. So sometimes you'll see things like companies put in like all sorts of key, what's called keyword stuffing, that you'll stuff all these words in your in your keywords. So an example for us, we're in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and uh, we'll see <laughs> way too often I see guys like uh, Tulsa plumber, plumber, Tulsa, Tulsa plumber, plumber coming of Tulsa. Uh, Tulsa Plumbing Company, blah, blah, blah. And then their business name, right? It's just like they just crap all these things in the title. They crap all these things in the descriptions. And it's pretty messy. Uh, on top of that, we've seen a lot of companies start doing, uh, you know, multi-location um, sort of thing. So they might have one physical brick and mortar, but then they'll set up like satellite Google My Business locations throughout their service area. And for, for years, uh, while they haven't exactly been... Uh, best practices you know by google's terms and like what they're looking for it's kind of been pretty accepted across the board however late fall of 2021 uh, google started changing some of the algorithm that's impacting businesses to do this now we're still at, at the moment you're watching this uh we're still uh going through a lot of the data across several industries so our lane primarily is plumbing hvc electrical home service businesses but this change does not appear to be impacting all industries the same. Some industries are hit more dramatically than others. So a lot of the data that we're kind of referencing, yes, it has to do with plumbing, HVAC, electrical, but we're also looking at other industries to get an idea of what this might indicate, what this might forecast, and just try to understand things at, at a greater level, more than just like uh, the utilitarian sort of function. But uh, a couple things, one, um, it seems as though uh, Google is starting to negatively penalize businesses that have keyword spammy sort of language in their titles. So all those companies that are doing plumber, Tulsa, Tulsa, plumber, things like that before their actual business name, Google seems to be recognizing that and demoting those businesses in these search results as it relates on the maps. Uh, here's an unfortunate problem with that. It seems as though Google might actually be struggling to actually tell the difference between what's keyword stuffed and what's a legit brand name that has those keywords. So, for instance, if your if your company name is Tommy's Plumbing and HVAC and Electrical, whatever, Google might struggle to see that that's not keyword stuffing. That's the name of your business um, as of right now. Um, right now, they're st they're kind of viewing that as keyword stuffing. One of the indicators that we've seen a lot of evidence of is that longer business names tend to be impacted the most by this change. It's almost like because Google is knowing that it's not sure which ones are keyword stuffed and which ones are just natural words in the actual company name, uh, that longer names are going to be disproportionately impacted uh, because that could also be a sign that you're keyword stuffing. So takeaway number one on this, uh, if you're keyword stuffing your, your business name on Google My Business, stop. Like right now, stop. If you are uh, legitimately called uh, Tommy's Plumbing, HVAC, and Electrical, cool. Try to keep your name as short as you can. Going longer isn't going to help you. It's going to hurt you. Try to be as, as concise as you need to 
um, and as concise as possible. The other thing with this is we also seem to have an impact where companies with multiple locations, um, especially if, if larger companies, for instance, we're starting to see a decrease in sort of overall ranking on the map because of this change. Um, it's one of these things because we, we want to make sure that, uh, look, this is, this is great real estate. And a lot of companies have tried to use all these things for a long time, uh, to maximize all the things. Uh, so what we want to basically say is vicinity is becoming more and more of a factor. Um, so if you have a primary location, you're going to probably see like your primary locations rankings impacted more than like a lot of your satellite locations. Uh, businesses that had like one large business uh, location, like one big headquarters and a couple satellites, that local business is probably going to have a much smaller radius now. The satellites might have minimal impact. Um, but the, I guess the point is it's getting more difficult for bigger companies to monopolize the map just because they're a bigger company. Uh, it seems as though there's more of a playing field for smaller companies who are still reputable, right? Who still do all the other things that Google's looking for, like uh, visibility and re reputation, things like that. Um, but it's not exactly uh, the big shops that are going to be able to dominate like they have been historically. So, so lesson number two, if you are leaning hard on one GMB to drive a lot of traffic at your primary location, you can probably expend, expect that that uh, radius is gonna be shrinking for you. So if that's the case, really, really focus on the geographies that you really need to focus on and make sure you coordinate that with web stuff, with social stuff and your Google My Business stuff. Make sure you're very intentional intentional about carving out that uh, that space. So really right now, there's, there's a lot of flux. We've seen things like even gaps of data for two or three days from some of the companies we're looking at. Um, but here's the point. Google's always changing these things, right? So whatever is true today might not be true next month, might not be true when you're watching this video. Uh, but as of right now, the latest change seems like Google is being mindful of uh, trying to make it more difficult for people to have success by keyword stuffing their profiles, uh, which I would probably argue is a good one. However, uh, we're seeing unintended consequences of companies that have legit keywords in their name, not keyword stuffed, but just Tommy's Plumbing HVAC Electrical, those guys are getting caught up in that mix right now. So if you can do anything to keep your business name short during this transition, please try to. Uh, the other thing is uh, the multi-location and you will probably notice an impact on your, your radius with which you're ranking for the things you're depending on. Um, again, guys, these are always changing. Uh, we try not to do specifics on, um, on any one topic or any one algorithm because again, they change so often. We don't want to date this content. Um, but these are things that are, are going to be kind of disruptive. We're seeing some headaches with it. I know other guys in the industry are seeing headaches with it. So I just thought it's worth coming out and saying, hey, here's kind of what we're seeing. Uh, there's a lot of unknowns and it will probably uh, adjust again uh, with some of these changes. But it, for what we know, this change happened in late November, like mid late November 2021. But it seems like it's still kind of cascading out in chunks by industry. So <clears throat> that all said. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of moving pieces. Uh, pay attention to your Google My Business. Keep your name short. Be mindful of your service area and focus on your primary location. Uh, just make sure you, you do a really intentional job carving out that space. Um, and obviously, uh, be mindful that these things are going to change over time. So always make sure you're paying attention to your profile. I know this is a lot. Um, if you have any questions about the update, if you have any questions about just ongoing things in general or any other topics you want to see, I always like to hear from you. So as always, guys, Leave a comment below, follow us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, listen to the podcast, and uh, we'll see you next time. See ya.